Excellency, just rising up from his seat to prepare and meet the players on the field of play as he is accompanied by Sipa Chairman Comrade Jokadem. Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosa. Please subscribe and hit that red bell down below. Today I'm here to talk about uh, the most disturbing information I've just heard from Zake Media. I was compelled to speak up as South African citizen has put a petition on Twitter asking one of the celebrities to dismiss a Zimbabwean employee and employ a South African. Yes, you heard me. To dismiss a Zimbabwean employee and employ a South African. I am so, so livid because Zimbabwean in question might have uh, the skills required by the employer why judging that a Zimbabwean or a Nigerian is an economical migrant? This celebrity, Kaspar Novest, is a highly regarded musician, and I'm sure he vets and higher qualified employees. So, you know, it's not that he, it's like he's just going to get someone from the road. Surely not, you know, because he he's got this high status in south africa i need to talk a little bit about uh, south african apartheid um you know what this is to the youngster the victory over apartheid was a collective effort from other african countries apart from President Nelson Mandela and other ANC leaders who were in jail, many activists were actually forced in exile. And guess what? During that time, some of them moved to Zimbabwe, Zambia, Mozambique, Tanzania, DRC. These countries played a vital role in supporting the ANC when it was banned in South Africa. These countries provided sites for military bases. They became the launching pads from which they would infiltrate into South Africa and impose pressure on the apartheid government. So we are neighbors, right? And it's wrong for the South African government to think that they can treat other Africans in such a manner. Yes, I'm so, so angry about that. I'll give you one example, just one example. In 1987, long time ago, my husband, a founder and lead guitarist of the Real Sound of Africa, were on a nine month tour in Europe and when they were performing in Dublin they donated their proceeds all their proceeds to a NC representative because obviously Oliver Tambo was here in, in UK because you know it was a show of solidarity a show of support and for South African government to treat any Africans in such a manner, it is appalling and it just needs to stop. It's just wrong. It is wrong. And the most insulting thing is, guess what? It just, the South African just mentioned Zimbabweans and Nigerians. And yet there are so many nationalities from different countries in South Africa. Why? Is it because Zimbabweans are poor? Zimbabweans, they never chose to be poor. Zimbabweans are hard workers. Yes, they are hard workers. Not, you know, I'm not even bragging or anything, but do you know that Zimbabwe has 90% literacy? 
I think you see many Zimbabweans in South Africa and you think, you know, all oh, these, they're, they're, they're junk people. No, they're not. They're not. 90% literacy. The only reason why Zimbabweans are immigrating to different countries and, and, and you know, all over the world, it's because for economical reasons, I beg your pardon, ah, I'm trying to get this right <laughs> because oh, I'll be in trouble with my daughter. She said I have to, 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 to be good on this. So I'm trying my level best. The reason why, because the economy of Zimbabwe, it has gone down terrible. They lack basic human rights needs which is such as clean water, shelter, and medical care. So most of them, they don't have choice than to immigrate, immigrate to different countries. Now, it seems the only member of, of parliament in South Africa to condone xenophobia and racism was Julius Malema. He is asking for love and kindness among Africans. Why can't our own leaders do the same? Why? Our leaders must be mindful of what they say and how they say it, especially you, President Ramaphosa. I reference to your comment regarding xenophobia attacks in your country black lives matter thank you What do you think about the South African government under the rule of Ramaphosa? Please leave your comments below and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.